Did you know that the United States is home to some astonishing mega projects in the making, ranging from a racetrack weaving through the streets of Las Vegas to the tallest sky deck in the Western Hemisphere? Join us in this video as we explore these remarkable and costly undertakings. Let's begin with number 7, Las Vegas Grand Prix, $500 million. In November 2023, the Grand Prix is returning to Las Vegas after a 40-year break. Last time, they created a racetrack in the parking lot of Keitzer's Palace. This time, they're doing something even more exciting. They're building a cool racetrack that goes through Las Vegas's famous strip, passing by the bright lights of hotels, casinos, and the Bellagio Fountain. However, Las Vegas's roads are old and bumpy, so they're fixing them. The city is also paying for things like pit stops and other important stuff. In total, it's going to cost about $500 million but they believe they'll make that money back. Ticket prices start at $2,000, and there are special packages like the Million Dollar All Access Experience, which gives you a tour of the track, VIP access, and even a ride in an F1 car. The fanciest ticket comes from the Keezer's Palace Hotel, and it costs $5 million. It includes a luxurious hotel room and a race ticket. Once the track is finished, it's going to be really awesome. The Las Vegas Grand Prix will happen at night, so all the buildings will be lit up with colorful lights. Now let's talk about number 6, Brent Spence Bridge, which costs $1.6 billion. Back in 1963, they constructed a bridge over the wide Ohio River to connect Ohio and Kentucky. It cost around $10 million at that time, which would be about $70 million in today's money. This bridge had two levels the top one for cars going to Kentucky and the bottom one for cars heading to Ohio. But there's a problem. When they first built the bridge, it was designed for handling 100,000 vehicles each day. However, over the years, the population and traffic have increased a lot. Lately, the bridge has had more than double the number of vehicles it was supposed to carry, and that can be risky. In 2011, a part of the Brent Spence Bridge fell apart, and a piece of concrete hit a vehicle. The local government says that the bridge is regularly inspected and is still strong and the collapse wasn't because of the increased traffic. But they are concerned about other issues like traffic jams and roads getting blocked due to too many cars. So the government has given the green light to a plan to build a second bridge for $1.6 billion. This new bridge doesn't have a name yet. It will handle all the highway traffic from interstates 71 and 75, while the original bridge will handle local vehicles. This should reduce the amount of traffic and decrease the risk of traffic jams. Now let's move on to number 5, MS Guy Sphere, $2 billion. This project takes us back to Las Vegas. The company that owns Madison Square Garden is creating an incredibly fancy entertainment venue that's unlike anything else in the world. Inside, it will have the largest LED screen ever, wrapping around the walls to immerse the audience in the show. This screen will also have special effects like scents, wind, and vibrating seats to make it feel as though you're part of the action. It's a top-quality entertainment experience that completely engages you. The outside of this place will be impressive too, with changeable lights. In the fall, it might look like a massive pumpkin, and in the winter, it could resemble a giant snow globe. Additionally, this MS Guy Sphere will be the largest circular building globally, even larger than the Avicii Arena in Stockholm. Originally, they planned to open this $2 billion venue in 2021, but the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted their plans. Now they're aiming to open it in 2023. If everything goes as planned, they might also construct a similar venue in London, but that's still awaiting approval. Number 4. Gordie Howe International Bridge 4.5 billion dollars. This is the most ambitious project on the list. It's going to be the longest cable stayed bridge in North America, connecting Canada to the USA. The bridge will be 2.5 kilometers long and will have six lanes for cars. It's going to cost around 4.5 billion dollars. To give you an idea of how much that is, it's almost three times more expensive than the Brent Spence Bridge project and more than twice as costly as the MSG Sphere. Here's something interesting. They had to relocate a bunch of snakes for this project. There's a type of snake called the Butler's Garter Snake that lives in the area where they're building the bridge. Canadian environmental laws required them to move these snakes to a new home before they could start building. The bridge is supposed to open in 2024, 
and they're naming it after a famous hockey player, Gordy Howe. He spent most of his career with the Detroit Red Wings. Even though he passed away before they started building the bridge, his son thinks it's a good name for it. Gordy Howe began his career in Canada and then moved to the USA. So it's fitting that the bridge connects these two countries, and that's why they chose his name for the project. Number 3. Amazon HQ2 – $5 billion Next up on the list is Amazon HQ2, a new large office for the second largest company in the world. They already have a fancy office in Seattle, Washington, but they want to make it twice as big because they're making a lot of money. When HQ2 is finished, it will have room for 50,000 workers, which is more than their first office, HQ1, where 40,000 people work. It's quite a journey for a company that began in Jeff Bezos' garage. Initially, HQ2 wasn't planned for Arlington. Amazon actually asked various cities to compete for the opportunity to host their new office. Many cities tried to get Amazon's attention by offering them tax breaks, hoping that Amazon would create jobs in their city. This process sparked some controversy because some people questioned whether HQ2 would truly benefit these cities or if their desperate efforts to attract Amazon might end up costing them money. The most impressive part of HQ2 is something called the helix. It's a tall and intricate structure that spirals upward, resembling a DNA strand. In a recent statement, Jeff Bezos compared the helix to things like galaxies, weather patterns, pine cones, and seashells, but not everyone is equally impressed. In 2021, a website called The Verge described it as a glass poop emoji covered in trees. Number 2. Project Connect Texas – $10.3 billion Project Connect Texas is a major effort to make public transportation in Austin, Texas better. It costs more than double the Amazon HQ2 project. The plan involves constructing two light rail lines, three new bus routes, a tunnel for transportation under downtown Austin, new park and ride services, and fixing up the current transportation system in the city. The goal is to make life easier for people in Austin and also help the environment. They want to have a fleet of vehicles that don't produce any pollution, which means all the buses and trains will run on electricity. This plan used to be even bigger in 2020, but they had to make it smaller because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's talk about number one, Chicago O'Hare. Number one, airport upgrade, $12.1 billion. Chicago O'Hare Airport started as a military airfield during the Korean War, where new planes were sent. In 1955, it opened for regular flights and became one of the world's largest airports. It has eight runways, more than any other airport, and offers 214 non-stop flights to places around the world. However, the airport is too crowded and not very efficient. The terminals are too small, and there aren't enough facilities for the 50 million passengers who use the airport each year. That's why they're planning a big upgrade to make two of the airport terminals bigger and add more gates. They'll start construction in 2026, and the airport will still work as usual during the work. This is a massive project, but it's not the most expensive one on this list. 